Alright, so all those are tight, torqued to 70 foot pounds. We're going to run some safety wire in. So you got to think about which way this thing wants to unscrew as you do your safety wire and you're going to another bolt so and, and sometimes you know they just don't line up to where it makes it really easy to to get it so do your best whole idea here is we don't want these bolts backing off into our planetary gear system and you could you could tie this and then go in both sides or in one side of that and out. Um, I'm going to tie it, go in this side, come out, and and uh, try and get three bolts on this one. Simply because there's an odd number here. Same thing again. I'm going to try, I don't know if I left myself enough wire to get three, by the time I twist that, eh, we might have enough, we'll give it a shot, if not we'll cut it off and get three on one of the other tries. Let's see, we're going to go on this side of this one. Shut that in. Let's talk a minute about tapered wheel bearings and packing grease in them. There are a couple easy ways to do it. There are some ways that I've seen people do that are truly not effective. They don't actually move any grease around. And uh, But if you're actually getting grease into that groove in there and pushing grease out through these bearings and up through this upper race, then there's really no wrong way of doing it. So I'm going to show you two ways. We have two bearings and uh, we're going to go ahead and do two methods of packing grease into them. So both of these wheel bearings have had have been just cleaned off as much as possible. Uh, they have not been tanked. They are used bearings, but they're in good shape. There's no damage, no pits. And the first method we're going to use to pack a bearing is my little tool here, which seems like it ought to be fairly automated, but kind of isn't. So what it is, there's grease in the bottom here and then there's this white disc in there with that o-ring seal and grease is forced up through some holes in that white disc as you put pressure on the system. And you push down with that and you're forcing grease up and through the uh, white disc and through the bearing. It takes quite a bit of pressure goal would be just to keep pushing down on it until you get enough grease through it. You can see we got all fresh grease up in there. So that's one method. It works, takes a lot of pressure, and you have to have a tool. Now I'm going to show you another method which just requires getting a little dirty. And the trick here is we want to force grease from the back side of the bearing up through that race, 
through between all those bearings. So we're going to put a decent amount of grease in our hands. Get that down into the palm of your hand. And I bought this tool quite a long time ago, and it works just fine, but for the most part, this is how I usually do it. And all you're doing is you're, you're pushing down with that bearing and into the palm of your hand, and you're kind of rubbing like you're trying to pull all that grease up off your palm. And the goal is, is to, you're trying to shove that grease through the, through the bearing. And you can see it's starting to come out here now. And the pressure of pushing it into your palm is what's pushing it through the bearing. See, so you've got a nice flow there. Take it, the excess grease off, and move around just a little ways and continue the process. It's fairly quick, it's just fairly messy, though, and hence the reason I'm wearing gloves. I've seen people supposedly doing this method and instead of forcing that grease into those races or in between those races and getting that bulge what they do is they go and they smear it all over the outside nothing ever actually comes through and then they go okay I'm done well they actually haven't done anything at that point all they've done is move the grease around the outside the goal is to push the old grease out and get new grease in. The old grease is almost always going to be black. So, you know, if you like, I had already cleaned these bearings off pretty well, so we're just getting a little bit of black coming through. You just want to wipe that off, throw it on the, get it on a rag, get it out of your, your mix. There's no sense in it going back into the bearing. But just keep it up until the whole bearing is packed. and you've been around it at least once or twice and you're confident that you have all new grease through that bearing. Go ahead and get this wheel installed. Put the grease on our spindle. Access on our planetary gears and we're gonna put quite a bit of grease on all these planetary gears. I hope I'm calling them the right thing. I think that's what they're called. I guess that would be a thrust bearing, or a thrust washer rather, or a bearing. Extra grease on the outside. As Lord knows the next time these will get serviced. Potentially never. Just so good. Brake cleaner. Now we can walk this forward. Spindle is about center of the wheel. Just roll the jack forward some more. Straight on. And last little bit is you've still got that planetary or that gear set that has to mesh. There it goes. Alright, with that in place, you can add the front bearing. washer and the nut and in this case the hole for our for our cotter pin is right here at this point something we want to remember again just a pair of channel lock pliers will do the job here I happen to have a socket for it so we'll use that all 
like to put these on tight and then back them off and spin the wheel just a little bit. Tight. And we know we needed to go here, so we're going to back off to the last castle nut point that gets that. Right there. And then we can install the cotter pin. Go get our hubcap, put it on. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you again soon. Hey guys, well that's it. Uh, hope you guys learned something, found it useful, and uh, make use of it in your own time. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.